guys, it's Michelle. Welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. <clears throat> so glad you're here. I have not done a pearl pour in a while. <clears throat> and I found, oh gosh, there was like a bunch of different pearl pour recipes I had done. I just um, went ahead and doctored this one up to make it work. So tonight we're gonna do a shadow pour with, with Color Art Pigments. And um, these are the pigments I'm using tonight. And this one is Candy Yams. That's this one right here. This one, whoa, whoa, burp. Now when I mix these, <clears throat> this one's Poppy Red, which these colors won't look <laughs> the same. This is actually the, the, the Shadow Beast. Oh dear, there's some stuff in here. Yeah, that's not good. I'm going to have to strain this. I'll be back after these commercial messages. I got it all strained. These silicone cups I use on occasion for to, to do resin. So there might have been some resin residue. Resin residue in the bottom of it. So this one is called Love Struck. And it's very pretty red. I'm gonna put this one aside. And this is these are my base color. So what I mean by that is I'm gonna put down the pearl pour mix, put down the color art, tilt it out, then put another pearl pour over top of it. And what's gonna happen is you can yeah, as you can see, <laughs> um, yeah, they do stain. Um, which is the, the quality that I like about the color art for this particular one. When I mix this for the shadow base, I do not use one ounce of Floetrol, no Floetrol whatsoever. It's GAC 800, it is 7300 bare deep base. And what I wet it with is the golden GAC 100. Golden GAC 100. This is the stuff that you make paint out of pigments with. So it's made specifically for that. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening to my voice, oh my gosh. So this color probably won't even show up. Got a little hair on me here. This is um, Amsterdam Expert Series, and this is in sky blue, sky blue. And I have some leftovers. This one is a antique bronze from Modern Masters. I have mixed up this, which is raw sienna from Amsterdam. And I put a little bit of Cornacridone Nicolaisa gold in it. This is the Modern Masters in iridescent pearl. And I have some black, which is Amsterdam Oxide Black. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by flooding this canvas. This is a 12 by 16 gallery wrap, and it is um, at level two. And this is the smooth surface one. I really like this one for these particular pores. So I'm just pouring, putting down my base. I'm going to stretch that out. Stretch, 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 all the way to the end. Just like I would a normal pearl pour. So. That's good. Now, what I'm gonna do is put down, start with the candied yams. I'm gonna make a gradient. It's gonna be very pretty. All right, 
So I've got some left over there. Maybe a little bit more of this. All right. So I'm going to tilt this out. I want to get good covering this. Such a different effect. I do recommend wearing gloves. I don't wear gloves, but I do recommend wearing them because they, the color arts do tend to stain. But I don't care. <laughs> That was easy. <laughs> I just don't care. <laughs> okay. All right, so isn't that pretty? Now, pretty, yes. I could leave it like that and just watch the, um, the pearls come up. And maybe one of these days I will. Maybe give it a quick torch. Some bubbles in there. And now I'm going to pour more you know, I'm just going to let it sit for a second because I do want the colors to uh, come up. I do see. Yes, you can see pearls coming up. So you could, in effect, just let it do its thing. And it does create, like, of hard to explain like I can see some transparency in here so what I'm going to do now and I did a, a, a tile earlier and it looked kind of like a desert rose so I'm pouring more base down and tilt that out And as you can, you can see some of the pigments, I, I noticed in the red, the love struck, that was a coarser pigment. <clears throat> so it's um, kind of leaving some little striations there, but that's, it's okay, it's no problem because that'll go away once it's um, developing here. So let me tilt it back this way, get some more color. Oh, that's pretty on the uh, <laughs> nice surface. Look at that. Ooh. All right, see how the color is coming up through the pearl mix? So now I am going to lay my colors down and I'm going to tilt those out. So I'm gonna start this is the uh, iridescent. That's a white. This is the raw umber. I want to put the blue down. The blue will probably disappear. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. This is the um, antique bronze. And the black. Okay, so here we go, tilting it out. And it's creating some greens in there too. And I'm turning it around, bringing it back. So the blue is going to get swallowed up just to let you know. But those colors are going to come up underneath. I really love this effect. I hope you like it as much as I do. And then I'm going to put you on time lapse. Do you still need to get enough paint off? 
Look at that. Oh my goodness. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. I'm just straightening things out a little bit. Hi guys. They're always here with me painting. So I'm anxious to try this in so many different colors. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit and probably play with it. I might do some put some more black down here. And but I just I love this effect. So um, yeah, I'll be back. I'm gonna put you on time lapse. Are you kidding me? Hey guys, so kind of cool. Um, I like how the multicolored pearls are coming through. Very cool. And then there's like a lot of depth around these areas with the um, pigments clinging to the pearl mix there. Not sure if it was a good idea to put the antique bronze back there, but oh well. So, and, and of course, I dripped. <laughs> I don't know if you guys caught that right before I uh, turned the camera to Time lapse. So, let me know what you think. I'm gonna be trying different colors with this. So, hey guys, here is the dried result. Uh, had I not dripped right there, um, it would have been a lot better. But you know, it has a design flaw. Oh well. <laughs> I really like how this turned out, though. Um, anyhow. Please be safe and create. Please like, share, subscribe. Ciao for now.